all right good morning everyone uh, let's start this session i have already mentioned yesterday that this session is very beneficial i have a request to all of you that do not miss today's and tomorrow's session because here i will discuss about core about the interview rounds that is very much important for your placement all right let me just give me one more minute and we will proceed we will start with the topic all right uh, so students first of all i need to tell you that <clears throat> how this uh, session will help you will benefit you for your interview see uh, we i mean i conducted interviews for all of you gds case studies also happened see i need to tell you one thing students all right now you are already prepared for all interview rounds right so that is great but whatever you will do now this days that will really be most helpful more effective for your placement vibes now i specially plan this session because i know that you guys are going for placement vibes daily you're attending uh, you know uh, this pre placement talks you're giving interviews to the different companies so that's the reason i have planned this one so students first first of all this one will be very helpful for your personal interview the session that i will conduct today that will be helpful for your personal interview be it's a hr round or technical interview see hr round is not only personal interview round that you give as technical interview round that is also your personal interview so what is personal interview to know you better as you know one on one to know you better know about your skills about your achievements about your qualification everything to ensure that they are hiring you as a uh, you know employee of their company so this session will coldly will help you for your personal interview tomorrow we will discuss about gd and case study again so you already had a session about them so this session will coldly will help you for your personal interview let me take you through this is very important if you will have doubt please let me know i will answer them but please be attentive about this session this is really going to help you the best all right so personal interview if you remember in the past sessions which i have conducted in this semester i told you one thing students that interview is not only about question and answer if you will consider it if you will consider that interview round means question and answer they will ask you some questions and you will have to answer them so no that is not what is interview is see in you must have heard from your seniors as well who all have done with the interview in the different companies that they spend 1 hour plus in the interview interviewers took an interview more than 1 hour so don't please think do you think that they will only ask you 15 to 20 questions in 1 hour no students you will have to understand that that is much more than that way more than that all right now interview is just to know you properly to evaluate you to evaluate you to understand you everything uh, you know just to know that you are the right employee for them you will be the right candidate you see basically first of all you are a potential candidate for them eligible potential candidate for them when you are giving interview the more the more effective your answers and everything uh, you know that you will have to perform in the interview right so that will be a deciding factor whether they want to hire you as an employee so your journey from an eligible potential 
candidate to an employee so that is basically an interview so in that period of time when you are giving interview you have to say the best that you know about yourself about your skills about your achievement about your qualification about your personality as well so everything will be relatable with the interview this is very important you will face you will undergo multiple numbers of interview rounds in every company especially for the top notch you will have multiple numbers of personal interview round and you will have to be ready for all let me take you through so guys always import you know this is important if you remember i say that you also create an impression with the profile picture you have i am really very happy to have a students like you the majority already have the photograph image you know as their photograph in the college uniform which is really great to see right and the people who are yet to have their photograph i don't think that you know putting that much of effort to have the photograph in the college uniform is you know really important because this placement is important that is not too much for you because you want to get placed in a top notch company you will re you will realize that when you will give interview to the company you will realize that this all are the important factors for them all right now one thing you always have to keep in mind now guys i am looking after your classes since like many semester you all are very much familiar with me still when you are giving interview to me you still feel so hesitant you fumbled your voice choked up you look so nervous think you know me so well i am your you know faculty member still you get so nervous with me but the moment you have the different faculty member for your interview you get even more nervous right think about the situation when you will give interview to the new person now the main you know you have to have this clear understanding if that person is new for you you are new for them as well they do not know you before right so for you he is or she is a stranger for them you are a stranger as well you may be one of the bright student of our college very good very attentive very active very professional but they do not know you they needs at least few minutes of time to understand that and there is only one person who will help them to understand that and that is you okay you are only going to help them to understand right nobody else can do that you will have to make them understand why you are why you should be a part of their organization your all effort should be towards one goal that to convince that person that you are the right candidate for them right so that you will have to put an effort for right so you first when you start with your interview it's all about about you create an impression that how you are the right candidate for them right so they are judging you the first impression now if you remember i always say be in uniform even if you are giving interview from home be in a proper formal shoes please understand that is important and that's why i am telling you to do this all right you have to understand this one so you know overall overall how you are judged okay so let's have this clear understanding okay so appearance and body language see students out of 100 no you will have the maximum weightage in this particular parameter appearance and body language let me tell you uh, categorically so appearance as your uniform your hair how you dressed up how you know uh, formal and professional you are looking like for them see think about the situation i'll give you an example okay you want to get placed in microsoft okay and your expectation is what such a big organization what you know big building beautiful office all modern amenities and infrastructure outstanding experienced people around right all facilities good salary good position good projects good learning good training this is your expectation so they from they as a brand their expectation will be same from the potential employee right so you have to understand if your appearance is not up to the mark according to them as per their company you will all you are you already spoiled a lot you know you know about that scores that you are going to have in your bucket to get placed you already do lost lot of scores right 
सो डोंट डू दैट आई एम टेलिंग यू फॉर योर बेनिफिट okay you will have to be in a proper uniform from your uniform to your footwear everything you will have to be in a formal shoes don't be there you know without footwear or in a sleep uh, sleepers in a sport shoes you know in the interview they can ask you to stand and you will be in a very much bad situation awkward situation if you are not in a proper footwear it is important don't think don't don't think about the place say i am still blessed that even if even in the current prevailing situation i am still getting a chance to get placed in a top notch company think from that perspective students all right and make the most out of it so you will have to ensure be it from your home or anywhere you will have to be in a proper attire now i already suggested you all no need to be in uniform and you know for the practice session with me or any other faculty members you i know you are very sincere and obedient we are thankful for that but preserve your uniform for your placement drives that's more important okay ensure proper clean ironed proper tucked in button properly knotted tie uh, girls avoid you know leaving your hair open try to have the bun or ponytail or braid for boys do not have the flips of your hair on your face don't have the facial hair unnecessarily trim them if you have facial hair for religion purpose we respect that but comb it nicely you know how to look professional neat and clean in the interview that you will have to see you cannot have the crimped cloth where you have the wrinkle on the collar in the shirt don't fold your shirt you will have to be watchful and mindful about all these things so please be careful about the body language like you're slouching you're bending down sitting casually keeping hand so no your body language is equally important you're sitting straight you're talking to them effectively that's what they want to see in you that you are serious about this interview then in the appearance and body language you have 55% vetage after that how you talk you have 38% vetage intonation pacing inflection as how you are speaking very high rate of speech my name is urmila sharma i am from this college and so don't speak in a so hurry see one suggestion one very useful suggestion i want to give all of you that do not show at all at any point of time that you are in a hurry show that you have all quality time with you for them and give your proper time to them okay if they want to spend time with you to know you better to evaluate you better so give that much of quality time without showing that hesitation and with you know uh, that bored expression on your face please have the quality time have the quality conversation have the quality approach that they will hire you okay so how you talk that is very much important and what you say 7% now you must be thinking that that mean that what is my answer that's only have 7% vetage no no you are then thinking wrong i'm not saying that it is about first impression see i'll tell you the person will give this particular parameter a lot of vetage this what you say if your first two parameters are right if you are not creating the wow impact in this first two parameters which is up, you know which are appearance and body language and how you talk they will not even be attentive what you say because your unprofessional image distracted them annoyed them so much they are not able to focus on what you are saying so it is very much important for you first to create that first impression with appearance and body language then how you talk and they will be full attentive in what you say so if you want that they they to reach out to that place and focus and highly be attentive about what you say you have to first create an impression about appearance and body language and how you talk so don't take it casually give your best more first impressions so the first words you speak count so if you remember i say it is very important to see the time of greeting still many one of you greet me as good after good morning at 2 o'clock i say please be watchful interview is also about the attentiveness till 11:59 am it is good morning sharp from 12 pm till 5 pm this is good afternoon from 5 pm to any time that is good evening please be careful about that it is a pleasure meeting with you thank you for scheduling this time to meet thank you so much for this opportunity ma'am 
so i'm really grateful for this so say these lines what you feel you have to say that as well to them they will feel happy and they will have a great start with you all right now one question these days i'm receiving that ma'am how to greet the panel so it is easy to greet one interviewer you have a one gentleman or a gentle woman you can say like good morning sir good good morning ma'am good afternoon sir good afternoon ma'am but if you will have like two people that is still easy you can say good morning sir good morning ma'am good morning sir good morning sir but if you have more than two people it will be weird to say good morning sir good morning sir good morning sir that's not the right way to do that then how to do that it's always better say good morning my respectful panelists so use some better words for them use kindly and please when you are requesting for something don't straight away you know construct a sentence and say to them don't utter a very straightforward sentence to them you can always add please and kindly will you please do that sir will you please kindly repeat it sir that will add a soft tone in your voice in your sentence right so always be thankful thank you good morning all greetings to all my respectful panelists so i'm really thankful pleasure meeting you all it's a great opportunity to meet you all for this interview have smile on your face are you not happy about the interview are you not really being excited on happy and super happy about this interview chance you are happy right you want to get placed you want to do something with your degree you want to have the that offer letter before you complete even your degree so for that you have to put this much of effort see i have learned one thing about the personality that you always show about your strong and confident personality through your body language as well so how you walk that show your confidence your slouched so you have you know little carved body language that shows that you are not confident about yourself when you are really confident you have a straight forward body language confident not rude there is a there is a gap there is a difference between being rude and being confident i i suggest you to be confident not to be rude so dress for success i think like lacks of times i've said it to you now by now but still i'll repeat i'll repeat even the day of your interview if you will call me and ask for some doubts this is the most important thing you will have to do so remember that weightage to uh, appearance so this is about that if you are not in a proper attire please believe me you are not going to get placed if you want to get placed and set up some good impression you have to be careful about your dress sense okay so from head to toe you will have to show that you are properly dressed up your hair collar tie other accessories everything needs to have quality touch okay don't wear smart bands don't wear sports you know those sports watches that's not right for the interview if you want to do not want to wear it or if you only have smart band then avoid wearing it it is great to avoid wearing that rather wearing the wrong kind of accessories for the interview for girls do not go with a very junk jewelry and all do not also sit like as if you are very upset and sad and all you will have to be active look good that is very much important it is rightly says okay now people say don't judge the ju you know judge the book by its cover but in the real life we always get judged in the first impression by the way we look like so they do not know you the one way to know you is how you dressed up how you prepared that shows a lot about you so please ensure you are in a proper attire look good that's a very special day for you when you have your interview so this is the these are the images of the uh, students of this college chandigarh group of colleges landra so an uh, image for girl image of for boy and you all have your uniform look nice look professional be in your proper uniform guys do not try to be a dress designer with your uniform you have white shirt gray trouser blazer and with a college logo black formal shoes with white full length socks only have them as your attire don't try to check do not wear denims do not wear different colored trousers what is your uniform you will have to be appear in that the students of chandigarh group of colleges landra strictly instructed to wear a complete uniform for their placement drive in every round online test technical interview personal interview 
okay study group discussion every time you will have to be in a formal attire that is your college uniform nicely comb your hair properly prepared take that day as a very special day you will see a great result of your placement so importance of professional dress sense see these are the things you need to understand you will be not only doing this following this on the day of your interview but in the future when you will be step in inside the organization and continue with your professional career and grow and grow and grow 5 years 10 years 20 years down the line the way you dress for an interview gives potential employers their first impression how you present yourself professionally so when you are in a proper attire you tell them and a message to them i am very professional i may be a fresher but i am very professional and definitely very serious about this job right dressing professionally can give you a boost of confidence see when you dress up nicely you have the different level of confidence so that's what you will have to have on the day of your interview as well look good feel good and feel confident about yourself that's very much important dressing in the right attire for an interview shows that you are serious about that job so without even saying sir i am very serious and keen for this job you are saying a lot to your dress sense professional dress sense in the interview that's very much important brush up your body language students this is i think that one thing i say the most important thing and you know be it's a gd be it's a personal interview case study even for your technical interview even for your online interview online test i say this is one of the the most important thing to look after if your body language is not correct no nothing can help you out believe me in that but if this is correct everything will fall in place and you will surely will get placed right so professional okay one thing i need to tell you here i will pause this particular slide for a while and i need to tell you something important see students i told you interview is not only a question and answer round it's way more than that okay you have to understand they cannot ask you 15 questions in one hour or one hour plus time right so it means they are going to ask you a lot of questions from the different sources now when you when you open google page and search for commonly asked interview questions you will have like 20 30 questions do they ask you only that questions not only them that's only a 10% there are two major source of questions that they will ask you in the interview number one your resume and that's where i ask you to put an effort in your resume because one of the important source of question is your resume so they will ask you a thorough question and your answer needs to be 100% accurate with the information you have in the resume you cannot even have the different digit that you have mentioned and that is different in the resume you have to review your resume you have to know your resume you have to have the awareness about your resume after preparing them right so that you will have to be careful then the second biggest source of information is your answer so they will ask you lot of questions from your answer so you will say that i did this project all right please tell me why did you choose this project i did this internship tell me what was your experience of this internship tell me about that event tell me about this so they will ask you they will create they will construct many questions based on your answers see everyone's experience will be different you go through the feed feedback booklet you have introduction you talk to your friends but always be ready mentally for your different individual experience in the interview right so uh, please ensure that you brush up your body language i'll share some tips about this that will help you right so professional behavior is a form of etiquette in the workplace that is linked primarily to respectful and courteous conduct see i need to tell you something here guys in details okay so it is very much important for the company to hire somebody who is very professional with his with his or her behavior every one company want a very professional very optimistic very warm very positive and for environment for the growth for every employee that they can help this company to grow if any particular employee creating a very negative very 
pessimistic, very toxic environment. Company do not want that kind of person. And that they want to see in the interview as well. Whatever you feel like, they will sometimes will be very tough with you. They, that there will be a grilling process. No, tell me, convince me. I don't think this is promising. Don't take it personally. Don't take anything personally in the interview. Everything is a part of interview. They are doing that for your, okay, just to know you as a candidate that how much you can handle this kind of situations. You have to be very professional. You have to be very courteous. You will have to have a lot of etiquette in front of them, for them in the interview. Don't be rude. Don't, be, don't upset them with your body language and your behavior. Professionalism and eth ethical behavior can benefit your career and improve your chances for the future success. See guys, you know what? What we call emotional intelligence. We call emotional, see, basically majority numbers of people are driven by their emotions. I am angry now, I will be rude. I am happy now, I'll be nice. This is how you not, see, you cannot expect every time that a simple sorry can cover up your bad behavior. Rather, you have to, Emotionally, you have to be, have that emotional intelligence. What? You have to control. You will have to channelize your emotions. You should not channelize by your emotion, right? So how? See, if you think that you are not in a right frame of mind, that do not, that doesn't allow you to misbehave with anybody. You can simply be isolated for a while, relax, have a cup of tea, relax, read something, listen to something, or just sit quiet and give yourself a few minutes of time, everything will be sorted. But if you choose to react or act when you are not fine, that will always spoil your personality, your image and all. And that will be that will be kind of full stop to your growth of your career. You are not allowed to misbehave. With, if you have problem, discuss. If you have still a problem, discuss with somebody senior, sort out, but don't fight, don't argue, don't unnecessarily be rude in the organ. So that's what they want to see. And more you are matured with your behavior, your professional behavior, the more you are close to the growth of your career. Greet the interviewer correctly. Correctly means like what is the time that way? Have some good sentences. It is really pleasure meeting you all. It's so great opportunity for me. Have this kind of impression for you, about you. Okay, smile. Smiling will help you to, uh, you know, hide your nervousness also. Don't interrupt and let the interviewer speak. See, many people assume questions and they don't allow that, you know, interviewer finish. Don't do that. Relax. They don't show you are in a hurry. They do not want to then hire you. You just have to show that you have all the time for them for this interview. So let that person finish his or her question and then please speak. Okay. Live a good impression. Be nice to them. Have the good ethic, you know, ethical behavior. Be respectful to the interviewer. That's very much important. Okay, be respectful to the interview I mentioned, good nonverbal behavior, like your body language. See, if I remind you that always look at the camera lens, do not look at the screen to hold an eye contact. Use palm to elbow for your hand movement, you know, lock it here and use only this much, not like opening the whole arms and hand, okay? And this palm needs to be a little curved, not like this. It, and using this one, you know, show that you're confident this way. You can have, have smile, have sit straight, have a very graceful and confident body language. Speak with energy and provide the details. Don't show as if like you're very much not interested, inactive. You will have to show that you're very much interested. You're very much have energy about that interview right thank the interview thank you so much for your time sir it is a great opportunity and great experience thank you so much for such a wonderful experience say all these things these are important to be formal with them don't chew eatables don't chew anything no chewing gum no eatable don't scratch your head and all that's not really look good hold an eye contact don't stare don't like constantly looking at them move your eye contact and all for a few seconds coming back don't slouch slouching slumping no sit straight with an active and confident body language okay think out loud this is i always suggest you don't be quiet and think what you are thinking speak about that so sir i believe in this situation speak what you are thinking that will help 
you to connect with them even more they will understand what you are thinking what is going in your mind avoid crossing arms this is absolutely no this is rude and bored body language okay have relaxed friendly optimistic and confident body language active as well keep your mobile phone off simply off no vibration no silent mode just off for that time at the time of interview keep a positive and friendly like have that you know don't be rude don't squeeze eyebrow don't have weird expression have a very friendly outlook now it is equally important to have a proper voice image you create a lot of image through your voice okay so you will have to adjust your tone speak with confidence not like low sir i am a student so you will have to show that energy that confidence that interest through your voice as well speak with confidence okay little higher than the volume should be little higher than your regular don't be loud don't yell don't uh, scream but little up than your normal tone not tone vo you know volume all right speak clearly and concisely so you will have to speak clearly concisely all right project your voice that so that you are heard so ensure that your voice have the clarity i also do ask you are my audible students that to see that to understand that i am projecting my voice that you are able to hear me out so you will also have to ensure that your voice is little up the volume is little up than the normal volume that they can able to hear you okay stick with a factual but interested tone so you will have to have that fact you can have your fact but don't be rude don't be a debater here have the interested tone avoid raising pitch of your voice no sir i told you right i want to convince you don't pitch raise your pitch have it moderate but always have that interested you know tone nice tone that's important practice your answer that i always say see you fumble not only because of your english it's because of you do not know what to say you are thinking and speaking together in the interview always have a halt that is fumble uh avoid saying uh mm, like you know that's called fumbling you are out of words and you are filling up those gaps with this we call it a fillers okay which will create a fumbling in the uh, speaking speak slowly carefully that every the proper rate of speech one breathe in breathe out gap in between the two words that is clearly pronounced clearly coming out from your mouth okay the day of interview these are the things to do on the day of interview you should know that you have the knowledge of the company industry position prepare with your answer test all equipment priorly in the morning wake up little on time okay early on time and get ready and also ensure your laptop or desktop is ready do not give your interview through your mobile phone that will be not a right kind of body language either from laptop or desktop dress professionally be on time at least before 10 minutes okay because see you know what will happen see if you have an interview at 10 o'clock start logging from 9:50 if you will be trying to log in before 2 minutes you may have last you know minute uninvited technical glitch and you want to avoid that so please be on time be at least there before 10 minutes start logging the, the, some more in you know suggestions for the day of interview share your skype id google meet id zoom id so whenever your placement coordinator or any faculty is asking for always ensure to inform on time test your microphone and audio that's important that's where you will connect with that person ensure you sit in a well lit room don't sit in a dark room okay and get comfortable as well all right no noise around you will have to tell your family members proactively no noise no music nothing around you always give interview indoor do not try to give interview outdoor like from balcony roof garden yard no only inside the room lock yourself in and give your interview and inform your family family member to not to call you in between ensure your soft copy of resume ready see we know that you you already sent the soft copy of resume to the crc department to your placement coordinator but still you will have to ensure that one soft copy is always ready in your desktop that handy that if they ask you you instantly can open that have minimal background so you no need to have very fancy background too much of things bed sofa as your background you will have to have this kind of wall as your background minimal but professional all right 
download that software that you will be using google meet cisco webex whatever required that needs to be priorly downloaded in your system create a professional username and image that is in the proper uniform that i told you already now this is one of the very important factor of interview handling negatives or objections so now many times they just try to test you they say no no you are not the right candidate you are not what if if i'll reject you see if they say no what if if i'll reject you have the confidence okay they want to see are you convinced with the fact that you will be rejected or not you will have to say that sir i am giving my 100% for this interview and i'm sure i'll get placed but if there is something will happen like rejection i will still not leave my motivation i will learn something out of this interview for sure it is indeed a great opportunity for me but i will always ensure to stay positive keep on trying for my best career that you will have to convince be positive never complain sir so you did ask me so if they can ask you a same question again and again don't say sir i just answered you this thing don't say that to them be positive never complain give answer always nicely to them don't be rude they try to see you are being rude or not no no this is not right that is not right sir i would like to tell you be nice to them be confident you know at that time don't be rude use examples of best experience sir i would like to tell you that i had this kind of situation and go ahead uh see this question is important why should i hire you i always say give reasons as your projects your internship your technical skills your interpersonal skills your best achievements that's what you will have to quote here be optimistic and keep your strengths and best achievements on table now the close interview is done how you have to close this interview thank them them for their time it was great experience sir thank you so much for such a brilliant experience of this interview i'm really grateful have a great day sir take care of yourself this is how we close nicely and professionally isn't it students restate i am so much interested and eager to get this job i am so much keen for this position and this company microsoft name that company repetitive the other saying i would like to be a be a part of my dream company name that company and one more suggestion don't have your personal image as your desktop photograph they can ask for remote of your system they can ask for screen sharing you should not have personal image if you want to impress them extra you can have their company logo or a very you know normal image as the background picture don't have unnecessary folders keep them in a one keep it neat desktop okay follow up like not required because you will get you can say that i mean i'm really eagerly looking forward for the uh, you know uh, results of this interview thank you so much for this opportunity all right now this is one of my favorite quote which i believe you all know mr warren buffet he's a very famous personality he's well known about his intelligent brain he is somebody a man who can make 1 rupee a 100 rupee we know about the record of the stock market now i want to use his very famous quote for you people for your career price is what you pay value is what you get so right he made his 1 rupee a 100 rupee in the stock market if you see and read about his record now how it is relevant and go with you price is what you pay value is what you get your return of investment is your value the payment is what you paid as the as a complete payment of your engineering degree your education your time everything is the price and value is what you will get as your job offer and that you will value you throughout your life till the time you will be in the professional career that will benefit you that will be a supreme opportunity in your life so price is what you pay and value is what you get you already paid the price now the value that you want to get please be careful be sincere be optimistic be you know have faith and do great in your life so best of luck students believing in your dreams is the only way to reach your destination if you believe 
things will be you know when you believe in things no you're more determined to do the right things for that to achieve and you automatically will reach out to your destination that is your job i want to wish you all the best of luck for your bright career i want each one of you to get placed okay so that's all about this session i request you to not to miss the yesterday's tomorrow session that is will be equally effective follow everything i will share this ppt of mine with all of you as a study material that you can go through them okay again and again to have an idea about your interview day i hope you like the session i hope that this is kind of benefiting you beneficial for your career and placement students you know what give your best you know you give best throughout these years semesters now what you will do now this will give you the best results in your placement so please ensure that you are giving best in your placement value what you have invested okay so the price already been invested now the value please value what you are going to get that is your placement that is that offer try for the best companies give your best believe me all of you are very talented students i know you i know your talent inside out you guys are brilliant you are putting so much of effort i saw you improving so much from the day one till now you are doing so great be it a gd be it a personal interview or a case study you are doing absolutely outstanding i believe in my students that you all are milestones you all do great and you all make us proud i know that very well you know guys please see your talent from my eyes from my perspective you know you are very brilliant people out there you have good scores you have a great skills just believe just have that confidence and show the world you are cap what you are capable of believe me you all are brilliant so give your best in the interviews and placement students my best wishes my blessings are always with you god bless you all again we'll connect you tomorrow do great in life have a great day now before i finish the session i want to ask you the students of section y they told me that they have viva at the second half and that's where they requested me to postpone the case study session for the day now i want to ask you as well do you have a case, do you have a viva today at the second half then i can postpone that for tomorrow because your exam your viva is important more so i would like to give you a proper time and relaxation that you can focus on your viva please inform aditi do you have a uh, viva at the second half of the day guys yes ma'am from 2 to 3 we are having viva all right so what i will do so i mixed the students of x and y so they also have 3 to 4 as well so for that i can conduct this case study session tomorrow for you people all right that name i mentioned i can do it tomorrow i can even keep two case study sessions tomorrow that we can cover some more students and students i need to tell you i will keep on calling you even your once your placement get over i request you one thing i know you are very nice you are very obedient very respectful i request you know any teacher call you me any teacher please always respond positively we are doing everything for your best placement students okay so whenever you are having invitation for place for gd pik study ti always respond okay to every faculty member if you have a situation always tell us that ma'am i have i'm not well or i have this test tell me proactively tell us proactively because if you will not tell us we will think you are being unprofessional that we do not want to create that idea and image about you so all the best to your exam do you do great and please don't miss tomorrow session this will be equally effective i'll tell you a lot of facts about case studies and group discussion round thank you so much everyone have a great day god bless you all thank you so much everyone thank you all Thank you so much Vita thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank, thank you, you everyone thank you so much thanks everyone have a great day